Hello out there, all my crafty friends. Um, I came on here today to show you a couple of you on the Junk Journal Connections have requested <clears throat> or have asked me how I made my paper buttons. So I thought I'd do a real quick video and then give you some options of other things you can do um, on how I made these. <clears throat> so these, which were the first ones I made, I um, I happened to have like a whole lot of, I had already punched a whole lot of circles um, out of scrapbook paper that I had, like little um, scraps. I had scraps left over. And what I did with these was I took um, like five or six, I think there's six pieces of, like I took some white cardstock. It wasn't real thick cardstock. Um, and then I, I glued them all together and I did them on both sides. Now you don't have to do them on both sides. I just did it like that so I'd have some options of when I was using them. Hey, do I wanna use this side or do I wanna use this side? Or if I did something like I could put them, tie them um, in the middle of the signatures and then you've got both sides, you know, like you do a regular button. So, but they are a little bit nicer if you, um, so it's not quite as thick, you know, with the paper, but if you use um, like some chipboard, like a thin chipboard, and I took three pieces of the thin chipboard and then a piece of scrapbook paper on both sides. And then I, what I did was I took my, my Distress Ink, Tim Holtz Distress Ink, and I don't even know, I've used this so much and there's so much on the top, I think it's, um, Okay, vintage, vintage photo. And then edged around them to get that look. And then once I'm done with that, then I take this triple thick. And I brush my triple thick on and you can put, so you can have a little bit more control. And I put several layers of triple thick on them. And this stuff's great. I just use a, just use a small, you know, paintbrush and um, brush them on. But I was just gonna show you real quick you can this is my punch i just use a um this is a one inch punch circle punch and then um that will punch through like a thin weight sort of chipboard this this is a pizza box y'all <laughs> and it's sort of it's thinner you know some of the thicker um some of the thicker stuff this is this is not going to punch through now this punch might because I just I just bought this one today because I've been wanting a star punch, and um, this might punch through something a little bit thicker because you can you've got some you know you put this one down and you punch, and it's it's stronger I think, but it's just not going to punch through something really really thick. So you're going to have to have several layers. So what I do, and then I have the I have a butterfly punch, and I have a heart punch. Now these will not punch through. A thicker chipboard it's got to be a very very lightweight chipboard so um, the first ones I made I did I did all of them with paper you know and you can this is watercolor paper that I colored I think I used distress oxide inks and uh, and then some music paper on the back and several layers of paper now I did go punch some some thinner weight I did manage to get some thinner weight um, and this is not really, this is like packaging. But those, these punches right here will not go through thick stuff. You will break your punch, so don't do that. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I pulled some, I just pulled some scraps from projects I've been working on. And all I do, I've already punched out a bunch of circles and I punched out some stars, punched out some stars um, that out of that pizza box. I'm gonna make some star buttons. And really, all you do, my circle punch guy, is you just punch your, you know, punch your circle kind of wherever you want it. And then I take um, several of these and I take my Eileen's Tacky Glue and I just glue them together. And of course, it's not going to come out because I'm on camera. Hold on a second, let me grab my other glue. Oh, 
Okay. So, I just take my glue. And with the chipboard, I use three pieces of the chipboard. Okay. And then, where did my circles go that I just punched out? Yeah. So, I'll put that on one side. Sorry, I got too much out here. And kind of line it up. And then I'm going to put this one on this side. And I just really press. See how the glue is coming out the side? And continue to line it up. And then I will set that aside to dry. And when it dries, I'll come back and ink the edges. And I, I meant to do some samples before I did this so I could show you each, each part of the process. But normally I would let this dry. I got too much stuff here, y'all. And I'm gonna come around the edges like this. And you don't have to have this thing. I wear these things out. Um, you can use like a sponge, like a makeup sponge. That works too. Or you can you can um, you can paint around. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. You can paint around um, the edges. You know, if you've got paint, if you want uh, a different look, you know, you can just you can paint your buttons. You can. You don't have to use scrapbook paper. You can, um, there's so many different things you can do. You can stamp on packaging, like the brown paper packaging. You can stamp on that, use that to cover them. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless. There's another lady, um, when I had this idea in my head, I I kept thinking, what am I gonna do with all these scraps? I had all these scrap circles and I was like, I don't know, just a little light bulb came on one day and I said, oh, I could make some buttons. So I just played around with it and then I looked on YouTube and I saw um, that there are, so this other lady, she did, she was making them and she was punching them out, gluing them together like this, but then she was taking like the crepe paper and um, gluing that over so it gives you like a texture. And then she used paint around the edges of hers and then varnish on the top and then punched her holes. So you can, you know, you can, you can just do, the possibilities are endless. And like I said, you can do the hearts, you can do butterflies, um, you can do butterflies, you can make stars. Uh, I even thought about it, I've got a snowflake punch. I think maybe um, it might work with the snowflakes. You're gonna have to really, depends on what how intricate your snowflake is and you'll have to really get them lined up, um, I think for them to hold up well. But then I just take, triple thick and I brush it on you can get a bottle um, and uh, you know with the applicator on it and then I just I just brush that on and let it dry and I'll do a whole lot of them and then I'll let one side dry I'll come back and do another coat and then do the other side um, and then when they're done I'll come back and punch my holes now for these thicker ones like this I really think, and um, this is a scrapbook paper too, so you can make, you know, you can stamp, if you've got little stamps like this, uh, you can stamp images, just, you know, use your imagination, whatever, you know, whatever you wanna do, that this is one of those things that there's so many possibilities. Um, so what I was saying is, for the paper ones, you could probably, if you don't have a big bite, a uh, crocodile big bite to punch your holes, on the paper ones, you can probably use like a little, an awl or some kind of pokey tool to punch your buttons. These thicker ones, um, this is what I use. It's the crocodile, the big bite. And I use the smaller setting and normally I make myself a little mark and come in here and um, this thing will punch through 
just about anything. And there you go. But you see, it's pretty thick, so, um, so there you have a, you have a button. But, um, anyway, I know a lot of you have been, um, wanting to, <clears throat> wanting to see how I did this, and that's how I did it. And, um, I'm gonna make some star ones, too. And I'm gonna punch some more stuff out, but, so, the butterflies, you have to be, um, like with this one, on some of them, I cut this little piece off, and then some of them I left it on there, but I think it, you know, over time, th this is a little bit harder to get together. It is easier to get a really good shape and everything lined up if it's less intricate, but this does work. But if you'll see, I cut the, I cut the little things off the bottom of the wings on that. And this is just some, um, some paper that I had was playing around with inks and stuff. So I punched a bunch of these out and I'm going to make some more with these. So you can, you can just do, um, you know, whatever, whatever you want to do, however you want to make your hearts. Um, and you can do it with just paper. If you've got punches, um, any kind of shape punches, or, or you can cut them yourself. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. Um, and, uh, I hope everybody's having a great day and I love you all and thank you all for your support and your love and your comments and and uh, stopping by and if you haven't subscribed and you want to hit the subscribe button and uh, I will talk to you guys later love you bye